How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Alhamdulillah. So today we are going to start our sixth obligatory act. But just want to give you a review. What is the obligatory act? If you miss any of these deliberately, knowingly, then you have to repeat the prayer. If you miss any of these obligatory act, forget forgetfully, out of forgetfulness. Then, for, then at, if at the end of this salah, if you remember that you forget any of these, you can perform two sajda salah at the end. Is it clear? First was Hibban. Opening Tarkubi. Good job. Second was Hibban. Ending if capable. Third is Hibban. Surah Fatiha. Surah Fatiha. Fourth is Fatima. Bow down. Ruku. Bow or bow down. Fifth Hibban. Fifth of Rising from Ruku. Rising from Ruku. So you have to stand up again. Okay. You cannot go directly to Sajda. Um, then standing is straight. You have to not only rise, you have to stand straight. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Now comes the seventh one. Sajda. Now comes the seventh one. And that is? Sajda. Sajda. Sajda is when you basically prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who amongst you knows how to do sajda? Me. And Fatima, do you know? Yes. Can you come on the table and can you do one? If I have to first Fatima and then you, okay? Wait, 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 Hiban, can you move? Okay, Hiban, can you move? Hiban. Good job. Is, can you stand up, Fatima? Uh, but our nose, forehead, yeah, that's and it, that's hands it. Okay, come, come, come. should touch the ground. Look at that. Yeah. Do it, do it. Good job, Hiban. Let's go. Hiban, good job, mashallah. Okay, this is how you do sajda. This is how you do. Yes, wait. Yeah, Fatima, tell me. Hamari, Hamari, nose. English, English. Nose, forehead, hands, or kata. First of all, sajda is when your head touches to the ground and your nose and your forehead. Your nose and your forehead should touch the ground. And your hands. Is that the part of your face? Yeah. We are talking about the part of the face right now. This, 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 this. Can it be touched while doing sajda? No. Then why are you asking? Because face. Only nose and? Forehead. Forehead. Is it clear? And hand. Is the hand, are hands part of the face? No. So we, what we are talking right now? About the face. Good job. What should be touched? Ha nose, nose and forehead. forehead. Is it clear? Yes. And while you are Putting your nose and your forehead hibban. What else should be there? Hands. Hands. And then obviously within feet, what should be there? Knees. Good job. And? And a feet. Good job. Five. These things should be there. These things should be there while you are performing sajda. Sajda, not salam. Sajda. Is it clear? Yeah. So this is how you do sajda. If you didn't do sajda, it means you have missed one of the obligatory acts of the prayer. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Within sajda, within sajda, what do you have to recite? It's like the same one, but it has ala. Yeah, instead of rahim in the code, it has? Ala. Okay. Pure is my lord. Abara, yeah, pure is my lord. Yeah, pure is my lord. Glory be. To my Lord Who is most Most high 
Al A'la means on top. Is it clear, Ibn? Yes. Okay. Subhana Rabbi, you know already the meaning, right? Glory be to my Lord. Pure is my Lord. And Al A'la, who is most high. Did you notice why are you saying this? Who is the most high, Ibn? No. Because, because Allah is in the Jannah, He's the highest. But why in Sajda you are saying this? Uh, why not in Ruku, Hibban? Uh, because because you, tell, you are making you are you are making Allah happy. No, but why you in Sajda is recognizing that Allah is the Most High? Because it's, an, it's obligatory. But why in because Sajda? Why not in Ruku? Mm -hmm. In Sajda, in Sajda, we're bowing down to him. If you are quiet, then I can explain. Okay. Inshallah. In Sajda, you are at the lowest position as you can be, isn't it? Oh, you yeah. cannot go under the ground. What is the lowest position that you touch your forehead and your nose to the ground? You cannot go lower than that. Is it clear? Yeah. Right now, right now, which part of my body is on top? My feet or my face? Your face. Is it clear? Yeah. Usually that's the case, right Hibban? Yeah. If I will put my face down, it is the lowest I can go. Is it clear? Yes. Hibban? Yeah. So when we are on the lowest position, we are saying, Allah, you are the most high. It means what? And we are low. It means what? That Allah is high and we are low. Yes. That Allah is the most high and we are low. So we always need who? Allah. Allah. This is a reminder. This is a reminder. Allah, you are so great. You are so awesome. Even though I'm lowest and you are the highest, but you still love me. You still care of me. So, just that 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 feeling will come in your heart, and that what we want to achieve in such time. Is it clear, Hibban and Fatima? Yeah. Can we so, Wait. Glory be to my Lord who is most high, or pure is my Lord who is most high. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, Hibban. When you are doing sajda, doing sajda is obligatory or not? Yeah. Good job. Fatima, reciting Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Glory be to my Lord who is most high. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Reciting this, is it an obligatory act or recommended act? Recommended. Good job. So, even your sajda can be acceptable in salah if you didn't say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Is it clear? Yeah. But, but Muhammad, does it mean that you have to miss Subhana Rabbi al No, no. No, you have to say. Yes, uh, Fatima, you had a question? Yes. Do it as Fatiha obligatory? What can you repeat again? Is as Fatiha obligatory because the other things are not like if we say the dua? And yeah, it. within this al Fatiha is one of the recitation which is obligatory. Is it clear? Okay. Yeah. And then obviously a surah also, some scholars say a surah also. Okay. Uh, sitting between two sujood. Sitting between sujood. two sujood. What does that mean? How many sajda in every rakah you have to make? Two. Okay. Between those two sajda, what do you have to do? Between those two sajda. Sajda. Yes. Those, that sitting is also obligatory. So once you are making sajda, then you will sit. And then you are going to again make a sajda. This sitting between two sajda is actually obligatory. Is it clear? Yeah. If you just made a sajda and if you didn't sit and if you assume and your intention that I made two sajda, it means you messed it up. You have to repeat it again. Is it clear? Yeah. So you have to make two sajda which will be separated by your sitting. Is it clear? Okay. Uh, one thing very important. What you have to read Hibban while sitting in between two sajda? Tahajjud. Mm -hmm. Fatima. Allahumma khfirli. Good job. Allahumma khfirli. Allahumma khfirli. This is recommended. This is recommended. But in between two sajda when you are sitting, you have to read this. Allahumma khfirli. It means what? It means. Oh Allah. Oh Allah. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Hey, are you writing it down? 
Oh Allah, please forgive me. No worries, no worries, no worries. Oh Allah, please. Oh Allah, please. Forgive me. Forgive me. Good job. Can you see this hair? Yes. Oh, I think it's a smiley face. The smiley face, I made it. Hibban, can you see this? Can you read it? Yeah. Oh Allah, for, please forgive me. Okay, when you have to recite this, Hibban? Yeah. I'm asking you, when you have to recite this, Hibban? When you have sitting between two sajdita. Good job. Okay. And then you have to make a second sajda. How many times do you have to recite Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la? Raise your hand, don't raise your voice. How many times do you have to recite Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la in Sajda? Yes, Abban? Three. Fatima, can you recite more than three or less than three? Um, more than... Can you recite five times or seven times? Yes. Can you recite one time? No. You can. It's recommended. The more, the better. But the less, you won't get any sin. But... It's 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 a sunnah. It's a recommendation to recite three times. Is it clear? So recite three times. Is it clear? Hibban and Fatima. Sitting in the hajj. Okay. Um, now. Recite the hajj. Recite the hajj. The hajj is the night prayer. It's the shahud. The shahud. Say Hibban. Hibban and Fatima say the shahud. The shahud. Yeah, when we recite the tahiyat. Is it clear? No. So, inshallah, in our next class, we were going to discuss sitting in tashahud. Me too. No. In our next class, we're going to discuss sitting in tashahud. And? But before okay. sitting in tashahud, let's do a quick review of this. So, in Zohar, you have to pray how many rakat? Four. In Fajr? Two. In Maghrib? In Asr? Four. In Isha? Four, good job. Yeah, no, four heads. Three or two heads. So, after completing this for one first rakah, so you will say open takbir, you will then stand and, stand and then you will recite Fatiha, then you will going to do Ruku, then you will, obviously after Fatiha you will recite a Surah, then you will do Ruku, then you will rise from a Ruku, then you will say Sallallahu Alaihi Hamida, Rabbana wa lakal hamd. Then you will stand straight, then you will do the first sajda, then you will sit between two sujood, then you will do second sajda, and then your first raka is done. done. Then you will again stand for the second raka. You obviously you won't say opening takbir, but you will do the same thing again until the second sajda. After the second sajda, you will sit in tashahud. Is it clear? Yeah. Whether it's Fajr, Zahar, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, at least you time. will get one tashahud, and in most of the salah you will get Two, two tashahud because in one tashahud comes after two raka yeah. and second tashahud will come after third or fourth raka is it clear Abba, wait wait is it clear yeah Abba. okay yes fatima eight english only one prayer has the hajjud once no the tashahud. tashahud yes fajr prayer only have one tashahud is it clear yes good job inshallah i'm going to see you guys